there can be lots of cases when you would like to run external programs from within Perl, both on Windows and on uh, Linux. You can do that in several ways. One of them is uh, calling the system function. The system function gets a string that uh, would be the exact same string that you would type on the command line. So, for example, if you would like to run this executable and give some kind of options, that would what would you would type on the command line? Then you can just put in this string and run it. The, this is more slightly another command line uh, application, and this will print something to its own standard amp output and maybe standard error. And those are inherited by this script. So, whatever the script, wherever the main Perl script would print, for example, your screen, that's the same place where this will going to print. So, whatever this prints out, you as the user most likely will see. That's one of the ways to do that. And if you want to know a little bit more about system, just read Perlock minus F system, and you'll know how to do that. The other way to do to use it is uh, using the backtick. That's the um, the thing uh, under the tilde. So it's not uh, a single quote, it's a backtick. Uh, this uh, also gets the command that you would type on the, in on the command line, but instead of printing out the output to the screen, it will return the output to this variable. You can call it either and assign a value to a scalar or assign the value to, to, to an array. If you do it to a scalar, then all the output, no matter how many lines are there, they are all in one single string into uh, go into in this single uh, dollar result. On the other hand, if you're assigning, if you assign to an array, then each row in the output will be one of separate empty in uh, uh, entry in the array. So it depends how you want to process later that output, depending on then you would call it uh, and assign to a scalar on the array. In both cases, so both in the system and in the backtick cases, Perl will wait till the external program finishes running. So you, you won't get two things running at the same time. It will run the external thing and Perl will wait till that finishes and only then the Perl script will con continue. Instead of writing backtick, many people prefer now to write the QX and then the curly braces or parentheses or whatever. I think it's also a bit more readable than using just the backtick. Uh, 